Hi, I'm Lynn Poulton. I am the uh, ICD Marketing Director, and I'm here with Dr. Stephanie Sarkis, who's one of our presenters for our 2019 conference in Orlando. Hi, Dr. Sarkis. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Do you have a libation? I do. I have bottled water. And do you also have bottled water? I do. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So I'm so excited to meet you and um, we had fun talking about how this is the uh, Moulton Poulton show because my married name is Poulton and your maiden name was Moulton. Right. So, I don't know, one day we'll have a show together. Right. The Moulton Poulton hour. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Well, thank you for spending a little bit of time with us today. Um, oh, my pleasure. So your presentation is high functioning clients need extra help too executive functions and when to refer. So what can you tell us about what you're gonna present at conference? Well, what I'll be talking about is that sometimes uh, we get clients that are doing really well at work, but they're still not reaching where they'd like to be. And we need to take a look at executive function issues because you can have ADHD, but still sometimes appear to be functioning well. And when I talk about executive function, I mean things like planning, forethought, organization, regulation of emotions, and also something called reconstitution of information, which means the message that you give someone, it may not be the message that they process and output. So it's just a, a talk about what that looks like when you have people with executive function issues and when to refer people out. Because again, sometimes people are told, well, you're doing pretty well and you're okay and you don't, you don't need additional stuff. You know, they're told that by other people, uh, maybe family members or friends, but they may still not be working their potential. So again, what, what can we help people with and what do we need to refer for? Okay. So now how did you find out about ICD? How'd you get connected with ICD? Uh, through Dr. Ari Tuckman. He's a good friend of mine and he's had oh. a lot of great experiences with ICD. So he said, yeah. you know what, you guys should, should tag along with us. And, and you're right in my backyard. I'm in Tampa. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll be really easy peasy for you. Oh yeah, and I get to see everyone, and I think ICD is a great organization, so I'm happy to be speaking for you. Yeah, so um, you're gonna be talking to professional organizers, productivity consultants, and mm -hmm. kind of run the gamut of the type of work that we do with children, adults, older mm -hmm. adults. So what would you want us to step away with from the presentation? That when you have someone that's that's high functioning, let's say an executive or someone that has puts a lot of pressure on themselves, it's really important to look at if they may have executive function difficulties, which leads to them having organization issues. So again, sometimes people may appear high functioning, but they're still not working at their potential. So really important to take a look at that and learn about different aspects of executive function and see if some of those issues might be impacting your client and see if they need to be referred to someone like a, a therapist or a psychiatrist for additional help. Yeah, and exactly. Collaborative practice, everybody getting together on the same team is so helpful, especially with someone that has been told again throughout their life that, well, you're doing okay. I don't know if you need help because you're doing okay. And then they go to an organizer or consultant and the person says, well, this is where you might be able to be. And it seems like you're coming to me because you're not quite there yet. Let's get you there. And here's some other people that can help with that. Mm -hmm. And again, if someone is high functioning, they tend to have a higher IQ and some of those executive function issues like planning and organization, they are helped somewhat by being able to compensate. But again, um, coaches, consultants can help and organizers can help people again, reach that potential. So they're where they want to be. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right. So um, what, what are you doing? Are you meeting clients um, on a regular basis? Is that your primary practice? Yes. Um, I write books. So I have uh, um, seven books out. Uh, the last one is, uh, the latest one's called Gaslighting. And that's about emotional abuse and manipulative people. Uh, because people that have things like ADHD or even chronic disorganization, they can tend to be kind of prey to gaslighters and narcissists. Mm. So that's that book. Uh, also, I do see clients in my office in Tampa and I, I give talks. Like we were just talking, I'll be in Alaska in a couple of days giving a talk on anxiety in children and adolescents. Fantastic. And I do some other stuff too, and I can't think of what that is right now, but that's mainly what I do. <laughs> Write books and see oh, clients. And I have a podcast. I'm on two podcasts too. So yeah. So Oh, you fun. do? What's your podcast? Talking Brains. So we talk about things like ADHD and even disorganization or how to work with groups of people. Well, I'm um, so excited to see you in September. 
And um, thank you for spending time with us today. Oh, you're welcome. It's been All a pleasure. Right. All right. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.